A lot of times we start in the referee's position. What do they do? They have, of course, side rolls, stand-ups, scrambies, some sit-outs, and so on. When you get a sit-out guy, okay, he's going to sit out, turn in. But not yet. When you get him to sit out here, give him some chest pressure because he wouldn't have matched. As he's turning down, what we're going to do is back hook. Okay? Your back hook here. And uh, from here, as soon as you get the back hook, what we're going to do is I call it a flash bang. This is the flash. Boom! You know, you throw it in, it explodes. There's the flash and the noise bang. It, struck, it, it, it stymies the guy in military terms, you know, or, or police. Does the same thing here. Flashing. And then our knees coming together. Flash, bang. The bang is the knees coming together in his face. When you do that, he's going, you know, he's not thinking about anything like other than, oh my Lord, what was that? Okay, flash, bang, change your hands, drop down. Now from here, let's, let's go this way, 90, 90 degrees. There you go. Good. As soon as you get to here, we're going to reach around and get a half on him. Now, stay right there. On the half Nelson, all our halves, my opinion, for what it's worth, on a scale of one to ten, if I can put his chin on his chest here, that's a five on a scale of one to ten. If I can turn his chin to the side a little bit, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to have a ten position on my half Nelson. So when I pick his head up with a half Nelson, I don't want his chin on the middle of his chest. I want to turn his head down. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I want a ten spot. So from here, when I get the chin, I turn his chin to the ten spot. And then I pick it up. When you do that, I'm going to use the word paralyze, but it's not paral you're not paralyzing him for life. It's just he wants to lay there. He doesn't want to move. That is very discomforting. As soon as I pick my head up, I felt his whole body go, just now. And that's what happens when you turn it to the chin, the 10 spot. If, if you have an average wrestler who's a 5 on a scale of 1 to 10, an average wrestler, college, high school, doesn't matter, then you can pick his head up to his chin on the 5 spot and you'll pin him. But if he's a state runner-up, he's a nine on a scale of one to ten. You darn well better have that chin over in the ninth spot when you pick the head up and you're going to pin the state runner-up. State champ, he's a ten on a scale of one to ten. You've got to have that chin over on the tenth spot when you pick his head up, you're going to pin the state champ. The same thing would be true at All-American or NCAA champion. It's when they're really, really good, you want to turn the chin. And since turning the chin takes no skill whatsoever, you know, it's, it's not any more difficult to have a five position, a nine position, or a ten position you always want to have a 10. So if you have that state champion, you got it covered. You have a beginner wrestler, you certainly have it covered. Nobody recovers from a 10 spot, at least in, from getting pinned. You're not hurting him. There's no paralyzation in there. But it, you, it falls into the, oh, my God, position. When you get that on, he's not thinking anything except the 11th commandment, thou shalt not be pinned. He's not thinking about that either, really. Okay, the 11th commandment. And uh, it doesn't like me either, and he won't, probably won't talk to me for at least a month after we're done with the tape here. But anyhow, flashbangs. So we have the sit out, turn in, sit out, pressure slap through turn. And you can see more of this as we go into other half Nelsons. You'll see more flashbangs, and you'll see more chin twist pick. Grab his chin, twist it aside, pick his back and his head up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you'll see the moment I'll put a different shirt on, you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyhow, there you have that.